to keep us anchored when life is good. It's easy to forget that we need to be anchored to Christ in the best of times. You know, because prosperity has likely thrown as many Christians off course as persecution. I mean, witness Jesus' message in Revelation to the church at Laodicea. They thought they had it all. Apostle Paul, to keep his feet planted on the rock of Christ, said he had to learn how to be abased and how to abound, and so do we. And anchored to these truths, we are also kept from lives that simply drift. Lives that are quietly um, and even gently carried along off course by the lukewarm ebbs and flows of the humdrum patterns of what we might consider an unremarkable mortal life. The subtle fatigue of grinding routines can sap our passion and our appreciation. But no life lived in Christ is unremarkable. Otherwise, Satan and his lackeys wouldn't go to such trouble to try to bully us and bait us out of it. 